Well, welcome back. Uh, it's the uh, 10th through 19th December turn. Winter War, we're having some fun. Very interesting to contrast this game to the previous play of uh, Strike North, the uh, invasion of Norway. The, you know, the mechanics are just wonderfully simple. The rule set is probably, I think, five pages at most. And it all just works real nicely, and there's some very nice little uh, rules that, I guess, evoke a lot of flavor. And the the ski units are, are one such item. <coughs> and we'll talk about those in a little bit, but well, actually probably not in this video because we're not going to experience them. We haven't experienced them yet, they just uh, joined the game. So we'll talk about them in a later video. But what is interesting is that when uh, Soviet units move into a Finnish uh, zone of control, they obviously have to stop movement, uh, which is a, a standard procedure that occurred in 99% you know, of all the games that were designed and made around this time. But then what has to happen then uh, for the Soviets is they have to attack the Finnish. So, uh, uh, the, the, the Finnish folks that they're adjacent to. And that creates some interesting problems for the Soviets if at the end of their turn they've moved and advanced and they're thinking about what they're going to be doing next turn. Well, that all changes for them once the uh, Finns have their opportunity to say, hey, well, you know, I'm going to move this guy up here. Now, the, the cool, and we'll find out why that's cool, uh, moving a, a, a 003 uh, unit adjacent to uh, these chaps, we'll find out why in the next uh, the next video. But uh, for instance, over here we have a nice big Hawken six four two uh, six attack four defense factor infantry division moving up against a brigade and a, uh, a regiment here. And uh, these guys are in a bit of a pickle in any case because they're going to be out of supply next turn, I think, or maybe they can reach back to here uh, or here. But uh, they're almost out of supply. And uh, they're going to have to attack these two units. So that's going to be six attacking four. Uh, that's going to put them right in the one-to-one -one column, which gives, gives them a one-in-six chance of uh, being eliminated via attack, or uh, basically a 50% chance, uh, actually a 66% chance of a negative result. So that's a big issue. Now, they have to make that attack there. They can't, uh, my understanding is... Uh, they can exit the hex, they can move out here, that's fine, but that doesn't achieve anything, so they're not going to be able to progress or move forward or uh, look at uh, obtaining uh, VP locations. So they're going to have to pull out, regroup, move these other guys up. It's been a bit of a mess for the Soviets is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> for the first two turns we've really kind of floundered around and realized how the game kind of gels together. And uh, we've been quick to be on the uptake uh, of how the Finns should play. We'll uh, take a little while to work out how the Soviets go at it. So anyway, quick little update. Beginning of turn three, uh, the Soviets had a couple of uh, aggressive counterattacks. They attacked an out-of-supply unit here and killed a 642, which was a superb effort with the reinforced units, uh, but then made a very uh, bold uh, two to one attack down here and uh, received the dreaded one. Was that two to one? Hey, you know what? It was a two to one attack, dude. It's not a one to one. So it's attack and retreat. So these guys are not dead. So this chap, he was here. Mm, this guy is actually here. Let's put him back where he belongs. So we've got to do a retreat, so we'll retreat back. And then they're pushing uh, these fellas all the way down to this headquarters. I'm trying to push, as the Finns, I'm trying to push this headquarters away so it, uh, it limits the supply opportunities for the Soviets. Anyway, all interesting stuff. I'm enjoying the game enormously. Whereas the Strike North uh, experience, it was okay. Uh, it, it just wasn't much of a game. Um, I think the alternative scenarios that are in there, the, I think it's the 40, 1943 scenario, they look interesting and there's a lot, there's actually more robust rules for that. But I, I needed something for the uh, Norway invasion. So uh, anyway, that's just the way it rolls, eh? We'll, uh, we'll talk about a comparison of the two uh, at some point in the, uh, in the future when we uh, get a bit of a spare time. Ciao.